Hey guys, Brent Ayler with Tackle Warehouse with another tournament recap. Uh, we just got done with a lead event here at Cayuga in New York. Uh, what an unbelievable fishery. Uh, I'm surprised how many fish are actually in this lake. It, it's it's unreal. I mean, there's so many. It, it was it was an absolute blast. I think on the second day of the tournament, I caught over 30 keepers and, and really just had a lot of fun. Uh, where I messed up this week is the first day I got in an area, caught a lot of fish. I didn't catch any big ones though, and so I left. I was I was running, cycling through all my spots trying to catch those bigger fish and never caught any big fish. So the second day, I went back to the area where I caught a lot of fish and ended up catching some, some bigger ones as well and had a good stringer, moved way up in the standings and just missed the cut. Uh, but for me, I was fishing all largemouth. This place has largemouth and smallmouth. Guys were sight fishing smallmouth. Uh, guys were down the, the lake in the cooler water fishing for smallmouth. I stayed up north, fished for largemouth uh, in the shallow grass, uh, anywhere from four to about eight feet deep. And uh, I did a number of things. I ran a reaction bait when the wind blew more. Uh, I, I slowed down and flipped, and I caught them on both, really. So uh, the first bait that I used for a reaction bait was a vibrating jig. I use a prototype uh, swim bait tail uh, that will be out at ICAST. Uh, you tackle warehouse, we'll have it here just shortly. Uh, that's why I use the trailer. I threw that on a Daiwa Tatula 7.2 uh, medium heavy glass rod. And uh, it's an awesome rod for throwing a vibrating jig like that. I put a Tatula Type R CT in a 6.3 gear ratio reel. I threw it on Sunline. FC Sniper, 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon. Uh, that's typically what I run with with a uh, you know vibrating jig like that. So that's why I use my cover to water uh, first thing in the morning, and then also if it got windy, that's what I threw. Uh, then if I slowed down, one thing I did was a wacky rig Senko. It's real popular here. Um, just a standard Senko. I put a B10S Stinger. Uh, Stinger Gamagatsu hook on there. It's a great wacky rig hook. And then I put that on a Steez uh, heavy action. This is actually the uh, 701 heavy action. Uh, that's what I use for you know any kind of a, a, a Sanko style bait. And then I have a 12 pound Sunline FX braided line with an 8 pound sniper leader uh, Sunline again. And then I used either the Steez or the new Certate uh, reel that Daiwa makes. This one is actually the Steez. I had to go with that because I got a bad wind knot in my Certate and went to the Steez. So I kind of switched it up in the middle of the tournament. Uh, that's what I did when I got really calm. And then the other two things were I just flipped and pitched. When it was open water I used a drop shot and I just you know put that on a, a one-aught Gamagatsu offset hook. That's a robo worm. Uh, I think that's Mean green is what they call that one. And then uh, with this, I use 16 pound Sunline Sniper, FC Sniper, and I put it on a brand new Kronos 7.3 medium heavy action rod. It has a really soft tip to it. It's perfect for throwing a drop shot like that. And then I use the Steez uh, 8.1 gear ratio reel. It's just a real light reel. It's easy to kind of shake that and have less fatigue. So that's what I use for a drop shot for open water. And then when I got to the heavy stuff, the real thick stuff, I used a punch rig. Uh, now this right here is a Rains punch sinker. What it is, it's a, it's a sinker that has a spot where I can put a skirt on the sinker. So it's a tungsten sinker, that's a three quarter ounce, and I put a skirt on the sinker itself. So I don't have to use a hub, a punch hub. I can put the skirt directly on the weight. Uh, by far it's the best way to use a punch skirt. Uh, it's just like throwing a jig by having that skirt on there. It's completely, you know, it's compact, uh, tight on there. There's no way I'll ever go back to a punch skirt. I will only use this weight anymore because that's the best way to go. I put on a 3 aught Gamagatsu round bin uh, flipping hook, and then I put a flapping hog. That's a three and three quarter inch flapping hog that I put on there, and then I use that. So that's just a great compact uh, punch rig. Uh, by far the best setup I've ever used for it. So 
the grass was fairly lightweight so I could get away with a three quarter ounce weight and then I put it I used a brand new Kronos 7.6 flipping stick really good flipping stick I've really enjoyed this I use the steez a lot but I've started to like this one even more it's just a great all-around rod uh, especially for punching like this uh, I put it on a uh, Daiwa CT Tatula the compact Tatula and it's 8.1 gear ratio reel and I use Sunline uh, FX braided line in a 60 pound and that's what I use for any kind of the heavier cover uh, when I you know saw some of the uh, heavier stuff down there thicker stuff I use that uh, to punch and uh, really had a fun time yesterday caught a lot of fish unfortunately didn't make the cut uh, but that was the lineup here I'm guessing you could kind of take this setup to a lot of the northern lakes this time of year whether it's right here or Oneida, uh, Champlain, uh, you know, places in Michigan, the northern states that have grass, that have largemouth, you can do this same setup and catch them. Uh, all the stuff is available right here on Tackle Warehouse. Feel free, scroll through. If you like, want a different color, grab a different color to meet your needs. It's all right here. Got that spade tail to it, just a complete unique action out there. The other bait is the Zayco. It's a, uh, a uh, makes it very durable. Between the aluminum and the gearing in there and the mag seal, this is a very durable reel.